Hello fellow crafters, Lori here from the Crafty Connection. And today I have a shadow box um, village, village scene that I'm going to do for you. And I have a couple different options. So I'm using this, um, it's a sign that a friend of mine actually found at the thrift store. And on the back of it, it has, you know, like the sides up here. So I'm going to use it like a shadow box. But if you don't have one of these or can't find one of these, there are some other options you can do, which would be you could take one of these uh, Dollar Tree signs. Um, this one's a Christmas one. And you could just pull off this piece here that's stuck on. And you could take some of these wood pieces. These are from the Dollar Tree. And you could glue them on. It would take probably one, two, three, four, five of those. You'd have to cut them here. If you don't have um, a way to cut the wood, another option would be to use some of the tumbling tower blocks pieces. Um, and you could line them all the way around and then add them up to make your shadow box. Kind of like so. So there's a couple different options to make this DIY. So what I'm going to do first for this, well I'm going to kind of show you some of the things I'm using for it and then we'll go ahead and move on. So I'm using the box. I have some of these um, laser cutouts of houses. I have a church in some smaller houses. I got these off of Etsy. I'll post the link below if you're interested. And I'm also going to be using a pack of these fairy lights from Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to use paint, obviously. I'm going to paint, and then I'm going to use some different embellishments, um, just different stuff as we go along. You'll, you'll see what I'm doing. I found some of these little miniature pieces from the Dollar Tree, which I may use. So I just, um, to give you the basics, I'm using this, the lights, and the houses, and then we'll build as we go. And you can customize yours and do it any way you want. But I'm here just to give you the idea and the inspiration. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to paint my uh, little shadow box here on front, back, and all sides, and then I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. So what I've done is I painted it all white. It took me three coats of acrylic paint, and as you can see, the front, back. This part here I didn't, I only put the one coat here because I'm putting scrapbook paper here. If you're not going to use scrapbook paper, you would want to paint this completely, this part here. And the bottom I only did one coat here too because I'm going to have um, fake snow down here, so it's not completely painted. I already dry brushed um, on the sides and in the back. Sorry, I had a phone call come in. Um, so I'm going to do the this part here and here of the dry brushing so you can see how I'm doing it. I am using a larger chip brush from Dollar Tree. And all I'm doing is, yes, I kind of need to put it in frame. All I'm doing is just lightly brushing along kind of an awkward angle here, but... A lot of this won't be seen really with the way it sets, but I wanted to have it, you know, a finished look all around. And then I don't need to do the bottom because there'll be snow there. And then I'm going to get and then along the edge here, I'm just going to go along where the two boards come together, the corner part, whatever you want to call it there. And I'm just taking and outlining that with the chip brush. And 
and then I'm just going along here. Make it a little more faint. And then just dry brushing around the whole piece. And that just gives it a nice framed edge, I think. If you don't like this look, you can completely leave it out. All right, so that should be good for that. And then, next step, I'm going to take my scrapbook paper that I'm using. And I have two 12 by 12 sheets here of the same paper. And I'm going to use the top parts. So what I'm going to do is measure the inside of my um, shadow box here. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. And then I'm going to cut those accordingly. So I'm gonna I'm just using my craft mat here for measurements for that. And that is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Almost seven. A little under seven inches. So I'm gonna go grab my paper cutter and cut those down and I'll be back in just a minute. All right, so I have, <clears throat> excuse me, I have my papers cut down. They were um, about six and three quarters to fit. So I just lined them up, cut them so they're even. Now I've put some of the wood glue, the super glue wood glue, just cause that's what I had sitting here. And I'm gonna spread it down onto my, inside of my little shadow box here, making sure I get plenty of it in the corners. And I don't want it gloppy. If that's even a word. I just want to make sure I get the edges in the corners really good. And then I'm going to take my first paper and I'm going to put it down there. So, and then just press it down there with my fingers. And like I said, this, this step is, you don't have to do this step. This is just what I'm doing. You could just paint it or put any kind of paper you wanted or just paint it. It's totally optional. your project you do it your way I'm just here to give you my idea and my inspiration on how I'm doing it again just smoothing out the glue making sure I have the edges and the corners glued really well there now, I'm not sure how far over this is going to go, so I need to kind of eyeball that. So about an inch and a half. So I'm going to add a little more glue. And this bottle's almost empty. I have to get another one from the craft room as soon as I'm ready for it. Again, getting those edges. And this does dry clear, so if you get it over a little bit, that's perfectly fine. Making sure my paper is going the right way with the other one. Just going to lay it down also. And press it in. Oops, a wrinkle there. Getting quite a few wrinkles here. And that's just air bubbles so you can press those down for the most part with your fingers to get them out they're really not going to be seen once we get everything put into this display all right, all right 
so let me go grab some more glue and clean up my little mess here and then we will continue on all right so I have an idea and I hope it works I took some rubber stamps here um, they came this size this Christmas tree stamps and I put them on a block a clear block and I'm gonna add some green it's a the name of it is pine so I'm gonna ink up my stamp real fast just a second And what I want to do is stamp on some trees. But I want to do the one stamp first. And then I want to do another stamp to get a shadow, hoping it works, of the trees. Not really. So I'm going to... Alright, so I'm may have to go back over there but I'm just gonna stamp my trees in hoping that they do what I want I am absolutely not looking for perfection I'm kind of wanting it to look like a forest in the background but kind of hazy and kind of in, in a fog if that makes sense because it's a background, it's not a front and center part of this my design. Not sure here how. Huh? skip ahead if this is not something you're wanting to do I just wanted to show if somebody does want to do it okay let me just ink this a little more and see if I can get a little more definition on this one that alone and then I'm going to take this stamp off and put a smaller one on okay, and all these are is just little rubber stamps so I'm going to put this one I'm going to try to get it a little Those are my dogs you hear. My husband's getting ready to take them out for their walk. And he had to go shovel a little bit so they could get out. And yeah. And you can hear them. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to put this one down.
anyway, the whole point of the second one where it's just really, really light is to just look like a tree back in the the far areas, I guess. Kind of, you know, like a landscape, I guess, is what I'm looking for here. I don't want any more super dark ones, so let me dab off a little and see if I can get it to yeah that's a good idea I might maybe want to put just a couple more on here. Actually, I think I'm going to stop right there. Okay, let me just grab a baby wipe so I can wipe these off and let this dry. And then I will give you a quick look at it. All you have to do for these rubber stamps is just take a baby wipe and you can just wipe the ink off them so they're good and ready to go for the next time. Let me grab it without getting ink all over it. So you can kind of see once I put the houses and everything in place that should look like just a nice background of pine trees near and far. Alright, so I'm going to clean up these stamps and um, Get my hands cleaned off, and I'll be right back. Alright, so let me show you where I'm at. I did go ahead and paint the houses that I had. It's just a simple paint. Not gonna lie, I wanted to add doors and shingles and everything else, but I'm trying to make this a simple um, DIY. And then what I did on them is I put Jenga blocks on the back there, like so. And that's to give it a little three-dimensional look. Plus, I can put the lights behind it. And you'll have to excuse me, I am dealing with a cold <coughs> today, so. Little coffee and sneezy and horse. Alright, so I got the blocks on all three of them, except this one just to show you what I did. And I'm just using the Tumbling Tower Blocks from Dollar Tree. And I did use wood glue and hot glue on these. I just put a little of the wood glue and then just a dot of the hot glue so we can get an instant grab. Put one, let me stick this one right here, I'm not sure where it is. Just do that. 
right on the front of my house. Okay, well this is not starting out well. clean out the front of my house now that I glued on it. Wood glue will dry clear. I just want to get the flat glue off. Probably gonna have to run some more paint over this one. I'm gonna let that dry and I'll touch up that paint when it's all dry. And yes, I still have green hands from the the green ink. Doesn't want to come off. Alright, so with these houses, I kinda wanna just lay them out with spacing how I want. Sorry. And I do have some of these little fences. And I'm not sure if they're going to be too big. But I'm going to have to find out. And as far as decorating these, I mean, use what you want, use what you have. I did have this little church here, but he's too small to really fit in my scene. Yeah, see that fence is going to come all the way up to the roof. But I don't know, we'll see. Alright, so before I put these down, I want to put my lights in. So I'm going to just set these aside. And I'm just using a pack of these um, fairy light string lights from Dollar Tree. And I forgot the batteries for this pack. So let me run and grab those so we can make sure they work before we put them in. I'll be right back. All right, I got the batteries and the lights, and they work. So, I'm going to, I forgot to mention that I did drill a hole right here in the box. I meant to, this is supposed to have been at the bottom, but I put my paper in upside down, so we're going to make it work. So I'm just going to turn it over and start stringing my lights through the hole. And then once I get to the end here, I'm going to put it down upside down. Sorry, the joys of winter. 
We got like, I would say, eight inches of snow in the last two days here. And it is quite cold. Alright, let me see if I can get this in frame so you can see what I'm doing. Alright, so I have the wire through. And then I'm just going to glue this down. Trying to figure out how I'm going to do it here. Alright, so when you glue it down, make sure the opening here to change the batteries is on the top. And I'm just going to use some hot glue here. that right down onto the back and then I'm going to take a little a few little dabs here and just get this wire glued down to hold it while it dries Hold that for a couple seconds to get let the droop, the droop, the glue get a hold. And I'm just gonna flip my lights again and make sure they're still in working order. I gotta let this glue dry because I'm gonna flip it back around. But in the meantime, I found these little snowflake stickers at Hobby Lobby. They were. I'm uh, 60% off, so they were $3.99 originally. And I'm thinking about putting some of these on my backdrop here. So I'm going to open them first. my lights I want to put a few of these snowflakes down oh, these are quite stuck on there there we go I just want to put a few on here for they have a little like a little bit of glitter on them and I think those will look super cute with the lights going Like I've said already, just trying to give you some some ideas, some inspiration. Boy, these things are just in here. They're on like a piece of the plastic sheeting that comes off with the sticker. should do it. Alright. Alright, 
so now I'm going to mess with these lights. Right, so if I'm having my houses in here, then these I kind of know what to lay right along there, and I think along the bottom. flip them back on so I can see what they look like when they're in the in position. So first I want to put the little hot glue over here because I want them to go against the oh my goodness. What a day, what a day. You just put a couple beads of glue along that edge there. These up against the I'm just I'll show you what I'm doing since I see that I'm out of frame as soon as it dries. So one second here. And what I did is I just glued them the string to the light along the side there. Put a house up here and see what we got going on. So I'm thinking I might want to put them up some. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to glue some more down along the bottom. Alright, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to work them into my little houses here. And what I mean by that is, so I have this house here that I'm going to put in there. So I want to put my light about right here so it shines underneath my house. And this one I want to position it to where the light's in the window. Um, so I'm just going to lay these out and figure how I want to put the the lights on and I'm just going to glue those into place so I need to put my houses down exactly where I want them first so there we go <coughs> and then I'm going to take the lights here start with this house here and he's gonna go about right there so I want to put this light I think about right here so let me get some glue Hold that in while it dries. And then I'm going to take some of the wood glue here. And I'm going to add some to the back of these Jenga blocks as well as a couple dabs of hot glue. And then go ahead and position that one down and hold it for a moment. And then you can fiddle with these wires as you um, get them all in there. You can tuck and glue and all that good stuff. Right, and then for the next house, I want it 
to sit back here. So let me see where that's about at. Again, just gluing these in. Keep doing the same thing. Put in your your wood glue and your hot glue, or just your hot glue if that's all you're using. So I'm going to continue to do that to these two and come back. Alright, so I have all the lights in now and I'll flip them on real fast so you can see. So, there's all the lights in. And then now I'm going to add my snow to the bottom. And for that, I am using some caulk. This I got from Walmart, I believe, because my Dollar Tree was out. And this is going to be kind of hard to do in this position. I'm going to do a little bit on camera just to show you what I'm doing. And then I'll do the rest off camera. So I'm going to take my piece and I'm going to just start squirting. Easier said than done with one hand. Hold on one second. So I can get some down here. set it up while I squirt it and then I'll show you how I spread it. I think if I cut some more of this lid off it might be easier. said than done also. Let me just get some of this out. The Dollar Tree caulk does come out a lot better. But it is what it is and we use what we have. Alright, I have some down here. And then what I, all I do is take a, I take a popsicle stick for, that's what I use. And I'm just gonna kind of spread it out down here around these houses. And along the front of them. Once I start getting it into there, I just kind of take it and tap it onto the, the cock to give it that rough looking snow look, I guess. But hopefully you can see where I did that. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the snow off camera. And I'll be back. Alright, so I have the snow down, and what I want to do, and I'm not sure if it's going to work, I have these little, um, you know, pieces I got miniatures from the Dollar Tree, and I want to try to 
put them into the cock to see if they're going to dry in there. And I guess if they don't, I will glue them in after it dries. Let me grab these pieces and see what I want to use. So I have a few little park benches that I like so far, so let me put these down. And I'm thinking even to put some of the caulk here on the bottom of them to A, give it a snowy look on the, like around the, the base. There. So you can see I just set that down in there. I'm going to set it up this way for a minute. I'm doing the same thing on the bottom of the bench. Just putting some down there. I'm going to put some snow tag on the roof of my houses. And I will use that for the tops of these, I think. stuff around. I will show you what I'm doing in just a moment. I moved those around. I put them right here at the end. And I'm going to just continue to add these in and let them dry. And then when everything's dry, I will come back and show you where I'm at. Alright guys, so here's what I've done. Um, I have all my pieces down into the caulk and they're drying nicely. And it does look like they will be stuck in there. Then I'm taking some of the snow stack I get from Amazon. I'll put a link below. And I'm just putting it on my finger. And I'm putting it around my roofs of my houses. I've done them all but this one. I'm doing this one on camera so you can see how I do it and I'm just putting the snow on the roofs of the houses there and the chimney And then I just take what's left on my finger and I'm just kind of rubbing it across the roof just to give it a snowy roof effect. And then I took it and I put a little on top of the snowman and the lights just to give it, you know, the illusion that there's snow on everything. And I will hold it up for you here. Let me turn the lights on. Oh wait, I have one more thing to do. Then I will turn the lights on and show you. Alright, let me just wipe my finger off so I can add the last little detail. And 
And you can be as elaborate with these as you want or as simple as you want. I think I kind of went a little simple for me, and that's fine. It's still beautiful. All right, and so I have, I made some little wreaths, and I just painted a few of the wood stars from Dollar Tree. And all I did to make the wreaths was I took some greenery from a pick I got, and I just cut it down and made it into a circle. And then I just cut off some red berries and glued them. So for these, I want to, because I want to cover up this um, spot there. So I'm not sure if I want to put the stars on the big houses or the wreaths. I think the wreaths on the big houses. So I'm just going to get some hot glue and put some glue on the back. And put those on the house. And this one will get a star. The next one will get a wreath. Last one will get the last star. And there we are. All right, I am finished. Let me turn the lights on and give you a close up, and then I'll again put pictures at the end of the video, like I always do. All right, guys, so here we are. I think it came out absolutely beautiful. All right, I'm going to post the pictures of it sitting upright like it's supposed to at the end of this video. And if you like this video or this type of DIYs, please give me a big thumbs up. Thank you to all my subscribers. If you haven't already subscribed, I really hope you'll consider doing that. And until the next video, I hope you guys have a fantastic day.